I'm Jake and you're watching Gas Guzzler's coverage of Impa Spring Break and this is the Volvo C40 Recharge. We're going to take a look at Volvo's first dedicated electric vehicle today. Let's get into it. As part of our spring break coverage, this is going to be a quick walk around test drive. Keep an eye out for a full review on a Volvo, hopefully coming soon. We'll let you know about progress on that. You do have full LED lighting on this vehicle, fog lights down here, and the Thor's hammer headlights up top. And of course, the front, you don't actually have a grill. You have kind of a fake grill right here because, hey, there's no engine that needs air to eat. Um, you do have a camera right here. This vehicle has a 360 camera. In addition, in the camera menu, you can hit a button to look just out the front, which is super useful if you're pulling into the garage. Let's take a look at the side. At the side of the vehicle, you're saying, Jake, isn't it called the XC40? Well, this is related to the XC40. They share a lot of the same parts, components, and whatnot, but this is the C40. It's got the coupe look to it, and this is an all-electric vehicle. There is the XC40 recharge, which this is very similar to. Looking at the wheels right here, special aerodynamically optimized wheels are going to help you get maximum range on this vehicle. Remember, this is electric. It's all about range. Range is the name of the game. We'll get to that in a second. Mirrors, heated, power folding, power adjustable, blind spot, all the all the go good gobbly gook you like in your mirrors what does what stole the show for me at this vehicle is this fjord blue it's modeled after uh kind of sweden's like natural parks and their national parks the water within it in these fjords and it is a gorgeous color especially in this two-tone with the black roof i think it looks stunning i'm normally not a fan of the coupe suv but this is probably the least offensive of all of them also really cool feature is the taillights run up onto the side at night you can see they do a little welcome dance as you approach very cool design here from volvo let's take a look at the back the rear of the C40 has some great taillights. They run all the way up. They're Volvo's classic vertical taillights, and they've managed to keep them with the coupe style. Now, let us open the rear. Of course, you click a button and it opens up for you. And looking here, you have about 14 cubic feet of space. You can get around 42 if you fold those front seats forward. And you also have a little additional space under right here in a little cubby where your fix-a-flat kit is. Remember, your charging cables are stored up in the front. You have this cargo cover included, and then you can also also use a ski pass through in the middle seat so that way you can go skiing with four grown adults. Super great feature. I can already hear you all behind the camera. You're saying, show us the frunk, show us the frunk. Well, frunk you shall receive. Let us open up the XC40 Recharge. Disappointing frunk. Womp womp. There it is. It's pretty sad. It only fits your charging cables. No F-150 style partying going out of the frunk of your XC40 Recharge. You're just gonna hope that your friend has the ultimate tailgate machine, but you will have the ultimate cool machine. The frunk does have one redeeming feature and that is how cool this mechanism is to close. Your car, the hood just opens up and down like a Lamo mobile. This thing, look at that hinge element, how it pulls it and slides it back into place. That's some fine Swedish engineering right there, folks. The rear is pretty cozy. Same materials as up front, air vents right here in the center, heated outboard seats, and you do have, let's see what kind of charger, two USB-C chargers. You also have a pull out in the middle, which has kind of bad nub cup holders, but they are nubs nonetheless. Also, beautiful glass roof, what you see outside. Love that. Doesn't look like there's a shade or anything to pull over, but it's tinted enough that you should be fine. Let's talk interior. This is Volvo's first leather-free interior. The carpet, this blue material on the doors, all made of plastic water bottles. So that's really cool. Some gloss plastic around, but you know what? If it bothers you, it bothers you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There is a wireless charging pad right here cups with nubs and then let's see how deep your center cubby is pretty eh, not that big but you know what this car you're not going to be hauling anything massive they do have this cool little design right here i'm not sure what you would call that but it's neat um, let's take a quick look at infotainment quick look in the center of the vehicle you do have this cluster right here which is going to show you basic vehicle information your speed uh, if i put the car into drive you'll see it'll pull up your map along with, oh, I'm not buckled in, so it's angry, but also your speed and what gear you're in. Let's put it back into park. 
and you can take a look right here. Right now I'm on the climate controls, but what I wanna show you is the fact that this is a Google-based infotainment system. You go to Maps, the default Maps app is Google. Volvo knows that's what you're gonna use anyways. Why not include from the start? It also has Google Assistant who you can ask questions and it has some other cool features like Range Assistant where it will grade you. Um, you can see no one is doing very good right now on their energy usage, um, but you can use a range optimizer and that will basically limit climate functionalities and basically, um, you know, help you get a little more uh, range out of the car. Let's take a quick look at cameras. You do have a 360 camera and a reverse camera, and this vehicle has parking sensors. And like I mentioned, if I wanna look just out the front, I can do that. So really cool little infotainment system here. As you can see, it's super quick. Great job from Volvo, especially on incorporating Google just right from the start. Let's talk powertrain. Two motors, one at the rear, one at the front. Together, they are putting out 402 horsepower, 486 pound-feet of torque. And now, when it comes to range, that's coming from a 78 kilowatt hour battery. About 75 of that is usable for driving. And you can expect around 420 kilometers of range from that. In terms of charging, expect to charge up to 80% in about 40 minutes. Pretty impressive. Going for a drive in the C40 Recharge. Here's something interesting. When you're storing it up, you just put it in gear and you start going. I'm gonna turn the fan on here. Sorry for any climate noisy here, but you just start going and that is pretty cool. Sometimes it's a little sketchy. It's like, am I going, am I not? Genesis had a fantastic feature where the gear shifter would only reveal itself to you when the car was ready. So you knew for sure you were ready to rock and roll. Um, some things that come with that shared platform with the XC4 yet make the vehicle feel a little less premium. There are little things around the cabin. For example, there's clearly supposed to be a start stop button right here and they just plugged it uh, with a little piece of plastic and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like I paid. Um, I'll have the sticker for this vehicle, but I'll flash on the screen if I if I remember to um, what, what roughly this probably was priced out to. And it just doesn't feel Volvo-like. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Now, it's time for the acceleration run. Let's give it a shot, shall we? We're gonna pull onto this road, and you know, I won't do too harsh of an acceleration run just because I do wanna be respectful to the park we are in. But, why don't we give it a little gas? And we went to 55 miles an hour from about a five mile hour rolling start to 55 miles an hour in that little bit right there. That, that was quick. It might be quicker in the BMW iX. Um, that was a quick little jaunt. And something else I'm noticing too, stiffer steering. I love to see it as we're going around these bends. Uh, it, it feels just really good. Something else I noticed with that acceleration was the fact that there is pretty heavy regen on this vehicle. I haven't found a way to modify it. I only have a short time with these vehicles during spring break. Um, so I haven't found a way to adjust regen. There may very well be but it is very aggressive. If you like that, you'll learn to one pedal drive no time in this thing. It's gonna feel great, you're gonna love it, your range is gonna be forever. But for those of you who aren't so into the one pedal thing, uh, it may be an issue, but you'll learn it, right? And you're gonna have to, because look, this is, the way, this is the way cars are going. They're all gonna be electric. It, though I do really like uh, vehicles like Genesis, has the perfect regen system, where you have paddles to select if you want more or less regen. Mwah. Oh, that's perfect. And it would be great if Volvo incorporates something like that. But you know what? Enough negatives. This car's a lot of fun to drive as I'm going around here. And it's just engaging. It's not as maybe direct feeling as some of the sportier based electric SUVs I'm thinking, you know, Mach-E right now. But it's still very direct, very fun as I'm going around these curves. You know, I can give it a little power in the curve. I don't feel any fear of slippage or anything like that. It handles it perfectly well. And that acceleration is just always fun in these electric cars. And it has a bit of responsiveness towards the top of the pedal. That was my complaint. This stop, I just came to that full stop with regen. One of my main complaints though with the iX was that I didn't feel there was that much responsiveness in the top half of the pedal. I feel that in this. Um, now the iX I believe is much more expensive than this, so they're not really competitors. But the ride, let me quick tell you about the ride. I haven't had a reason to complain about it. Again, I've only driven a few miles in this thing, um, but it doesn't feel like it'd be annoying or anything like that. It's handled everything fine going over some speed bumps and you know, broken up pavement. But that 
that's it for the Volvo C40 Recharge. This is a fun little car. I really like it. I hope I get to spend more time in one soon. Guys, thank you so much for watching our coverage of spring break. This has been a blast of a day, and I love bringing you all this type of content. So please help the channel grow, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, so we can continue to bring you more quick looks like this, and hopefully an in-depth review of a C40 sometime in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in next week's video. Stay safe. Take care.